Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a, a very uh, average uh, last 24, 36 hours in South Australian roads. Um, in that time, we've seen a number of serious crashes in various locations uh, across the state. As a result of those crashes, um, we've also seen um, some serious, uh, very serious injuries, some of which uh, those people are in a uh, life-threatening critical condition um, and in hospital uh, with uh, people looking after them. This comes off the back of uh, Operation Safe Speed that we ran in the week prior, where there were over 1,100 people detected speeding by our police officers. That doesn't include people who have been detected by uh, speed detection cameras around the state either. And this is significantly concerning, particularly because of the weather uh, that has been around the state, as we all know, uh, during that operation as well. So 1,100, over 1,100 people have been caught speeding um, with the weather conditions the way they are. In addition, there were a number of people who were also detected uh, drink and drug driving uh, during that operation. So again, when you start to combine all of these different factors, um, people are taking far too many risks on the road. The five crashes that we've had in the last 36 hours that have resulted in some serious injuries uh, are not related specifically, and there will be different factors that are at play. But one thing that is consistent is that um, paying attention to the road, sticking to the speed limit, and driving in a safe way uh, are all part of the preliminary investigation for a number of these crashes. So driving to the conditions is critically important, uh, particularly with the weather we've got today and over the weekend. Uh, we're imploring everybody to take extra care on our roads. Uh, and these five crashes are a stark reminder of how quickly your life can change um, either as a result of uh, your behaviour behind the wheel or another person's behaviour behind the wheel. The crashes I'm referring to include a crash on the Riddick Highway at Joanna about 9.30am yesterday morning where a uh, female driver is still in a critical condition as is a four-year-old child who was in that passenger in that vehicle. Uh, thankfully, an eight-year-old child also in that vehicle has sustained minor injuries and the driver of the truck also sustained uh, minor injuries. On Victor Harbour Road yesterday at Mount Jagged at around about quarter to three in the afternoon, there was a uh, two cars involved in a head-on crash with seven people um, combined across those vehicles. Again, injuries to all people in the vehicles, thankfully not serious to all, but certainly some significant injuries resulting out of that. Strathalbyn, 5.45 p.m. last night, an older driver um, has driven into the back of a, a truck, a parked truck, uh, and that person, we understand, has life-threatening injuries as well. Christy Downs, 4 a.m. this morning, a 19-year-old uh, male driver from O'Hallon Hill has crashed on Flaxmill Road, uh, put his BMW into a tree. That person sustained serious but not life-threatening injuries and is currently being in hospital receiving treatment. And as of 11.35 a.m. this morning, uh, police, including major crash investigators, are at the scene of a crash on Truro Road at Truro, a single vehicle rollover at that location. Uh, and again, there are some uh, significant injuries uh, involved with that crash. And as you would understand, um, it has only just occurred, major crash are attending that one, and so I have limited information that's available and limited information I'm able to share at this particular point in time. We all know about the weather warnings over today, particularly and over the weekend. Um, weather may have played a factor in any or some of these crashes, but the overriding factor is the behaviour of the person behind the wheel and how they're driving on the road. So leading into this weekend with this weather, we're imploring drivers to take extra care. Please let these crashes be the last ones that we have this weekend that result in serious injury 
And certainly let's hope that there are no crashes this weekend that result in the loss of life. And 47 lives lost already on South Australian roads this year. Again, it's far too many. So please, take care on the roads at all times, but particularly uh, this coming kind of weekend. I know you count down the details with the true road one, but it's, can you tell us any more? It's really the car left the road, rolled, possibly, you know, caught on fire. Do you have any of those? How many people were in the bit? Uh, so you've summarised it pretty well. Uh, the, the crash has involved a vehicle leaving the road as a ute, as I understand it. Uh, it has rolled and it did uh, catch fire. Um, our understanding at this stage, that there is one person involved uh, with that vehicle, um, but again, it's very early investigation at this stage. Any other questions? Uh, the crash at Christie Downs, do you know how long it took before the driver was retrieved? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I don't know how long it, it takes for a driver to be retrieved, but you know, this is, this is um, absolutely one of the points, is that um, the response by the emergency services is critical in actually making sure that you know, people have a chance of surviving these crashes. Um, your behaviour on the roads can and does lead to you know, either winding up, um, you know, bent up against a tree or off the road or you know, into the front of another, another vehicle as well. Um, these crashes are happening right across the state, but one of the things that is standing out to us again this year is that three quarters of the lives lost on South Australian roads so far this year are on regional roads. And they predominantly involve people who live in the regions. So again, we're asking people, particularly when you're out on any roads, regardless of whether it's metropolitan area or the regional roads, you need to take the extra care, particularly in this weather, because if there's water on the road, uh, it is obviously gonna be a little more slippery. You can aquaplane and lose control of your vehicle very easily. And also, um, the visibility with the rain and potentially your windscreens fogging up, etc. Now, if you can't see properly when you're driving around and you can find somewhere safe to pull over, please pull over until such time as the rain eases up or you're able to resume driving safely. Do you plan to have any more patrols on the roads this weekend? It's also the last weekend of school holidays for a lot of students, so I presume there you might be expecting to have more cars on the roads as well. Yeah, you're right. It's the end of the school holiday, so we are anticipating additional traffic being around, particularly uh, on the regional roads as people return home. Uh, it's critically important that everybody arrives home safe. Yes, there will be a large police presence out there. And just because it's raining, don't think that you won't be pulled over because our police officers don't rust. They will actually be out there pulling people over and making sure that you know, they're not taking unnecessary risks. So we will be running Operation Return to School next week coinciding with you know, kids going back to school. So that is another operation that we're focusing on early next week. Um, but the primary message here is that we want everybody to be safe on the roads this week and, and take into account an extra level of caution and safety, particularly given the weather that we're facing. Okay, thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you.